Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Thursday. So we've done a little bit of keyword research and we found this topic of what is the best analytics career path? And I actually just want to toss this over to Elizabeth. What are your thoughts on this? So my thoughts on this are, this is the wrong question to be asking. I think that you need to be asking yourself, what do I want to analyze? What types of data do I want to analyze? And that can lead you in a much more fruitful path than just asking, what is the best career path? Because we're all very different. We all have different interests Mm -hmm. and you sort of need to follow those to help you figure out where you want to go. Yeah. Um, have you heard of Simon Sinek? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he, his book's called Start With Why. Right. And I, I think that, well, it's funny because I went through a incubator for my startup and they had a motivational Start With Why guy. And I remember walking into that and being like, oh, I've got to be here for an hour. But I will say that unpacking that a little bit, there's some really interesting insights. Mm -hmm. Because if you are genuinely curious or intrigued about solving a specific problem, you're not gonna put in just 10% more effort. It's going to be a whole lot more energy going into that. Right. So if you look at that over a 15 year career, that's the difference between becoming a senior analyst and maybe CIO or VP of analytics. Sure. Yeah, I think that's a good point. It's sort of what problems do you want to solve? What are you interested in? And that's the best place to start because otherwise you could get bored pretty quickly. Right. Now, I do think there are trajectories. I mean, no Mm -hmm. matter what you go into, you might start as a junior analyst and then work your way to a senior analyst and then become a manager. And then hopefully, if you're wanting to do that, not everybody out there wants to do this, you might get into a C-suite type of role, like a chief data officer. Mm -hmm. So there is sort of this progression that we're seeing in the analyst space, but I wouldn't say that there's one particular career path that is the end-all, be-all path to take. Right. And I think also, too, you should ask yourself, am I interested in more the business side or more of the technical side? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a spectrum of, well, the business analysts, they're they're more kind of management consultants Mm -hmm. with a business, like a little data savvy twist to where like a data analyst or a data scientist are they know how to code they know how to build algorithms they know some of the more complex stuff and you may fall somewhere in between those two spectrums and i think that's also another question you should ask yourself of what is my trajectory through the analytics career space yeah i think you're absolutely right on that one do i see myself being more technical am i going to be a data scientist or do i want to be in that business analyst space where i'm more interpreting business problems and using data to solve those problems but maybe i don't have to have all the technical chops that a data scientist has. Now, I know you could start out as an analyst, a business analyst, and then move into a data scientist role once you um, have enough skills to do that. So that's certainly another option that we see. Or maybe you want to get into something like machine learning or programming or development. Well, you can do those things. You can become a developer if you gain the skills in those. So I think there are a lot of different trajectories you can go off of just starting out as a business analyst. Right. And it's funny because reflecting on myself, I am not super fascinated with the technical side of the analytics space. Mm -hmm. So like we've had, we had Tuan on Mm -hmm. who does uh, the Tableau Guru stuff. He will, in his free time, go onto Tableau and try to figure out how to visualize football data or in America, soccer data. (laughs) And he he just likes tinkering in that space. And he is exponentially better at Tableau than I am. Mm -hmm. But where I like to tinker is business strategy. Like Mm -hmm. I will literally wake up some nights with new ideas about, oh, how can we monetize this podcast? Or, you know, what about this video topic? Or let's start this new series. I'm much more enthused by strategy and business use cases rather than I don't know, visualizing different things or learning about new ways to visualize data. I see like the analytics hard skills as a tool for me to implement on my business strategy. 
I think that's a great distinction because if you think about it, that's another question you could be asking yourself when you're trying to determine what type of career path you want in this space. I mean, are you sort of that nerdy, no Mm -hmm. offense everyone out there, (laughs) nerdy people are great. I would say I'm a nerdy person, but are you that person that loves the tech side of things and wants to create a Tableau dashboard on their own Mm -hmm. time and is kind of like Tuan in that sense? Or are you somebody who's really more excited about business strategy and trying to solve a particular business problem And maybe the data is just a way to do that. Right. Yeah, well, I think that pretty much sums up, you know, what is the ideal analytics career path? The short answer is there's not one. There isn't one. Sorry to disappoint everyone out there. Yeah, actually go back to our first month of podcast episodes because we talked all about discovery. And you need to kind of look within and see where you fit into the play in the marketplace. Right. You're exactly right. What are your skills? What are your strengths? How does that fit into the marketplace? And think even about industry too. I mean, that can help you determine where you see yourself fitting. But I think you got to ask yourself, what am I interested in? What problems do I want to solve? And am I more technical or not? Do I want to have all that data knowledge, programming knowledge or not? Yeah, that's true. I mean, we just got off the call. So spoiler alert, we're going to be launching a new series where we do resume makeovers and the guy that we're going to be doing for our first episode was very worried about the hard skills like Mm -hmm. he doesn't know power bi or tableau or coding but he's got almost a decade worth of supply chain experience Mm -hmm. so just adding a little bit of that flair of analytics hard skills can just he could totally pivot Yeah, and I think that's another interesting point. And I know we get feedback from you all that we don't talk as much about our mid-level folks. So sorry about that, but this is a good (laughs) tip for you right now. Um, is that if you have some knowledge in a particular area, like this friend that we just chatted with who was knowledgeable in supply chain and had all this Excel experience, well, you can then pivot that into a supply chain analyst type of role. So that's another idea is maybe you have a lot of experience in a particular field, a particular industry, and then you want to become an analyst. Well, great. Let's do it in that particular industry. Cool. Well, I feel like we put a pin in it. So just learn about yourself and reflect And don't try to fit into a cookie cutter mold. And we'll see you guys in the upcoming episode.